Hello, Cricketers, and welcome to Cricketing with Delanda. It's me again, Delanda, and thank you so much for joining me today. In my last tutorial where I created um, the sublimation ornaments and I showed you what my process was for making these, I also asked for some of you to just share your thoughts with me if you wanted to know how I got this template into Cricut Design Space. And I got a lot of feedback. You wanted to know how I did that. And so that's what this tutorial will be. It will be me showing you how I traced this design and uploaded it into Inkscape and made an SVG. Now, disclaimer, I am not an expert in Inkscape. I really and truly only know the basics. So if you are looking for, you know, how to use In Inkscape or all about Inkscape and how to use all the features, I am not your girl. <laughs> but if you are interested in knowing how I got this design, this file into Inkscape in order to use it in Cricut Design Space, I can help you with that. So without further ado, let me show you what you'll need to do, uh, what, what you'll need in order to follow this process. And then I'll give you a chance to get Inkscape uploaded or downloaded, however you want to say it, onto your device. I can't walk you through that. You have to do that on your own and then how I use it or how you can use it to get a file to put into Cricut Design Space. All right, so let's get started. Okay, in order to complete this project, you'll need a sheet. I'm just using a sheet of paper. This is just regular, it's actually white cardstock. I think white cardstock works best. I'm using the template. This is one of the sublimation templates, but I'm going to show you how to use three different shapes. So this is a heart shape, and I don't even know what this is. Um, I'm not even sure what this shape is. But if you purchase a set of keychain blanks and they have multiple shapes, like there's a dog tag shape, there's a one that comes in a house shape, and you're not sure about, well, how will I get that into Cricut Design Space? This is, this is the way to do it. So I'm gonna have my daughter do the tracing. She's gonna use a pencil first. I'm just gonna hold my finger down just to keep the design in place so it doesn't move. And once she gets started tracing with the pencil, I will speed the video up. And she said it's important to go around it with the pencil first, um, just because, you know, in case you make a mistake, um, you know, you can erase it. Cause once you, you know, either use a Sharpie or a different black marker, then you're kind of stuck with it. All right, I want to speed this part up, the rest of this up. So all three images have been traced and then retraced. And the purpose of using a Sharpie or a black marker is to get the image nice and dark. Now, after um, she traced the image the first time, that's what she did with the first uh, file for me. I took a picture of it. So I'm gonna use my, my other phone because I have a, a, another phone. And I'll move everything else from the picture to make sure that the only thing in the frame is um, that sheet. And then I will upload this picture. I will upload this picture to my computer and then into Inkscape. And I'll show you how I I'll show you that. I'll show you that this will be uploaded into Inkscape. I am in Inkscape. I clicked new document. I will go to file. I'll click open. I have the fold, the um, document, the picture uploaded to my computer. So I'll just click open. I did not change anything here. So it's a JPEG um, photo. I did not make any changes. I didn't click anything here. I just clicked OK. The photo will come in. I'll click on it to make sure I have all of these little arrows around it and then just resize it. Just bring it down a little bit. And then the next thing I'll do is click path, trace bitmap. I am because it's only one color, really just black um, because I just traced these. 
I'm not going to click multiple scans or make any changes here. I basically just want this um, picture in Inkscape to be converted to an SVG. So I'm not, I did not make any changes. I didn't uncheck, didn't check. It was, this is, these are de the default settings. I will click apply. Okay. And so it'll show me what it's going to look like. That is exactly what I want it to look like. Okay. And then I will just click off of this top box because I don't need that anymore. I just use my mouse and clicked on it and dragged it over. I'll delete that. Now I can click here again. I have this selected. I have my three pictures selected. I will click file, save as, and I'm just going to call this um, templates. Okay. And I'm not going to save it as an Inkscape SVG. You can save it as an Inkscape SVG. I'm just not. Now I am going to click um, optimize SVG. I just optimize sounds good. So I'm going to click OK. I don't know what any of this means. I clicked OK again and now it's saved. So now I am going to go to Cricut Design Space and um, make sure that it will work from there. Okay. I am in Cricut Design Space. I will upload the images that I just saved. Okay. And I called it templates right there. I'll click open. There they are right there. And this says prepare to upload. It's a cut image, which means it's a what? SVG. Okay. I'll click upload. Here they are. I'm going to click add to canvas. And now, bam. Here they are. So if I want to use these and kind of clean this up, it's, it tells me already that it's a basic cut and it's, you know, quite big. I can, of course, I can resize it and just bring it down. Now, let's just say I want to use, I only want to use the, the ornament template and I don't want to use all the rest of this, you know, right now. I can contour this and I can hide everything and just use, you know, that one template and everything else will be hidden. So there it is right there. I can change it to, you know, I can change it to white if I wanted to. I can change it to pink. You know, I can do whatever I wanted to do with this because now this is an SVG. OK, and if I wanted to, you know, add the other two pieces, right, I can upload that file again. It's mine. It's saved and I can do whatever I want to do with it. All right. And remember now when I first let me upload it again, just to show you one other thing. Okay, I'm going to add it back to my canvas. Um, if I wanted to, let me contour this and just look at the heart file. So here's the heart and I know the Okay, and I don't want this. So let's see, let's see what that looks like. So here's my heart template, you know, and I'll let's just say I wanted this to be white and I was making a keychain with this. This would be the, I could resize it and not be worried about whether or not I have the right shape heart and whether or not the circle will be there. But, you know, you have options for working with this um, because once you upload it, you know, upload your own SVG, you are good to go. All right. So that is my process. That's how I created the last file. I'm not going to go through the process of, you know, making another file or doing anything else because you've seen mine already. That, that file that I just uploaded was what I used in the very last tutorial when I made those um, sublimation ornaments. All right. So hopefully this process was helpful for you today and hopefully you are able to create your own SVGs and, you know, add them to your canvas and use them just the way you need to. But at any rate, thank you so much for joining me today and thanks for watching. Bye.